Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you're having a great day. I'm going to read a book today. It's one of my favorites. You may have heard it before. It's called Caps for Sale. And the author and illustrator of this book is Esfier Slobodkina. That's a hard name. Esfier Slobodkina. And this um, book, you can actually help me do some of the parts. So when I get to it, I'll show you how to do it. And you can help me while I'm reading it. Okay. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. First, he had on his own check cap, then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. One morning, whoops, nope, I missed a page. He walked up and down the streets, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. That would be very tricky to hold all those caps on your head without falling, right? Like when we do our beanbag dance, I have a hard time putting the beanbag, one of them, and balancing it on my head. As he went along, he called caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. One morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up the street and he walked down the street calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel very hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, said he. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, so as not to upset his cap. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. That's a nice place for a rest, thought he. And he sat down very slowly under the tree. And he leaned back little by little against the tree trunk so as not to disturb the caps on his head. And then he put on his, his hand to feel if they were straight, put up his hand to feel if they were straight. First his own check cap. Then a bunch of gray caps, then a bunch of brown caps, then a bunch of blue caps, and on the very top, a bunch of red caps. They're all there. They were all there, so he went to sleep, and he slept for a long time. That would be something fun you could try at home. You could try to balance either some caps, some hats if you have them at home, or a bean bag, or something on your head, and then try to sit down. See if you can sit down and keep them on your head. But before standing up, he felt with his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt was his own checked cap. Uh-oh, where did all the caps go? He looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked in back of him. No caps. He looked behind the tree. No caps. Uh-oh. Then he looked up in the tree, and what do you think he saw? Hmm, what do you think he's going to see? I don't know. On every branch sat a monkey, and on every monkey was a gray, or a brown, or a blue, or a red cap. Those silly monkeys, they took his caps. The peddler looked at the monkeys. The monkeys looked at the peddler. He didn't know what to do, so finally he spoke to them. This is the part you can help me, so you got to get your finger ready. We're going to point our finger. It says, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. That's what the peddler said, and the monkeys only shook their finger back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. silly monkeys. This made the peddler angry. He So he shook both his hands. I can't do both mine because I have to hold the book. But do both your hands and say, You monkeys, you, you give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both their hands back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. Do you think they're copying the peddler? 
I think they're doing the same thing that the peddler's doing. Now he felt quite angry, so he stamped his foot. You can't see my feet because they're down here, but stamp your foot. And he said, you monkeys, you, you better give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet back at him and said, By this time, the peddler was really very, very angry. So he stamped both his feet. So get both your feet ready. And he shouted, you monkeys, you, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped both their feet back at him and said, tss, tss, tss. They're copying everything he does. So at last he became so angry, he pulled off his own check cap and he threw it on the ground and he began to walk away. So if they're copying him, what do you think the monkeys are going to do? They're doing everything he does and he just threw his hat onto the ground. What do you think they're gonna do? But then each monkey pulled off his cap. Yep, they're going to follow him, right? They're going to throw their hats onto the ground just like he did. And all the gray caps and all the brown caps and all the blue caps and all the red caps came flying down out of the tree. So the peddler picked up his caps and he put them back on his head. First his own check cap, then the gray caps, then the brown caps, then the blue caps. And what color is on the very top? Red, right? Then the red caps. Let's count how many colors of each one they have. Let me come a little closer. Let's see the red. How many red caps? One, two, three, four. How many blue? One, two, three, four. Four. How many brown? One, two, three, four. And how many gray? One, two, three, four. So he has four of every color except his own check cap, right? There's only one of that. That's a lot of caps. And slowly, slowly, he walked back to town calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. And then look over here on the gate. It says the words, the and let's count them all together. So there's four of every color and let's see how many that would make. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, and then his own check cap would make. 17, 17 caps on his head. I'm gonna write the number 17 so you can see it. One and a seven is 17. That's the number 17, a number one and a seven. 17 caps, that's a lot of caps on his head. So boys and girls, if you want to, remember you could try to find something to balance on your head and you could try to walk around your house or sit down just like the peddler did. And I'm also going to send you some coloring pages that go with the book if you want to do that today. I'm going to tell, I'm sending it in your parents' emails. Okay, so there's going to be a picture of the peddler if you wanted to color him and cut him out. And then some pictures of caps for you to cut out the caps too. And then I'm even going to send a mask, a monkey mask, if you want to make a monkey mask or a peddler mask. Okay, so those are some fun things you can do if you want. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.